Hey guys, Spider Games here. In this video, I'm going to show you the best method for farming King Mods in Dying Light. As we all know, King Mods are the most powerful mod that you can put on your weapon, but they are the rarest. In this video, I'm going to show you that you can find them very easily by farming hardlock chests. There are other methods for farming King Mods. You can find them in police vans or the trunks of police cars or survivors sometimes reward them to you. But trust me, you'll find them a lot faster if you search hardlock chests. Now here's the slums and I've marked all of the hardlock chests that I found in the slums. But we're going to concentrate on these three here. Now we're at the first location. We're going to check out these chests. But before I show you where the chests are, I want to explain to you why we want a safe zone nearby. Now when we open these chests or unlock them and then open them, we want that safe zone nearby because once we sleep and go back to that chest, it will be locked again so long as you don't take anything out of the chest. For example, if I took that pouch out of that chest and went ahead and looted the rest of the chest nearby, and when I went to sleep at the safe zone and came back to that very chest where I took the pouch, that chest would be completely empty and it would be completely useless. So here's the second chest location and boom, we found our first king mod. Now, I don't pick it up or anything just because I have enough and the virals can be a pain in the ass, but if you use cloak or something, they won't bother you and fighting them off is easy enough anyways. But coming up on the third and final chest of this little farming location, um, I want to explain something to you first. Now, looking at the map, we need to go to this location because there's somebody who you encounter in the storyline where Ryze cuts off his hand and you don't really ever see him again unless you go to this tunnel and you will find him behind this gate and he'll talk to you until basically he gives you a mission and the mission's called Oh Brother Where Art Thou? You have to do the mission, you gotta go to the stuffed turtle, do a bunch of crap for him and blah 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 and then finally you come back and you have to fight Rise's guys and they were kicking his ass and blah 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 and he talks at you and blah 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 until finally he gives you the keys to three caches all around the map. Now this is the first cache and once we unlock the door we're gonna find three hardlock chests behind this door but the only chest that actually stays behind after you loot all those chests for the first time is this chest right here. Moving on to the next farming location and that's going to be at the bridge. We're going to find four hardlock chests here. And the first one is going to be at the very tippy top of this bridge tower. Now if you have a grapple hook, which you should, now take the easiest route like I am here instead of going up you know on the inside of the tower you can kind of go back and forth and it takes forever but do it like I did but do not do what I do here I went to sleep because of some stupid superstition that I have since I do believe you can find gold weapons mostly at night because from experience um, I believe that I could probably find the king mods at night more frequently as well. But anyways, here's the first hardlock chest, and when I went ahead and opened it, I found a king mod. So, that's pretty cool. Moving on, I'm going to go ahead and zip line to the other side of this bridge, or we're going over the gap. And this is why it's really stupid to do this at night. There are the advanced virals which see through cloak and then we have regular virals who are just assholes anyways. But I managed to avoid them all and I threw down some flares just so I could, you know, unlock this hardlock chest in peace. But that didn't stop a bunch of other assholes from attacking me. Now, I finally get this bitch unlocked, eventually. And I didn't find anything. Luckily, I had some teammates with me and they went ahead and opened the other hardlock chest so I didn't have to. And I didn't find anything in that chest, so we're going to continue down this hallway. 
Now, the last chest that I'm going to be checking should have been the first ch uh, chest to check just because it was closest from when I came down the zip line. But anyways, moving on. Here's our last farming spot, number 11, 12, 13. Those are going to be our hardlock chests we're going to be farming instead of 14. Ignore that one. It's out of reach. But the first hardlock chest we're coming up on is going to be behind a hardlock door which shouldn't be a problem. Now, after you go ahead and unlock this chest, which I found a gold weapon in, got me all excited. I've never found a gold weapon during the day. So psyched. Moving on to our second hardlock chest. Now there's a gate. We gotta grapple up to this building. And here's our second hardlock chest. Go ahead and lockpick that. Now remember, do not pick up any items out of these chests or else you're not gonna be able to farm them. They will not respawn for you. Moving on to our last hardlock chest. It's also in a shack behind a hardlock door, which should be no problem. Again, go ahead and farm that chest and we're done. You can also find key mods inside of GRE boxes, which are located usually inside of quarantine zones. Now, in order to get the quarantine zone DLC, which is called Cuisine and Cargo, you need to go into your Xbox store or whatever. But there is one quarantine zone, I'm not sure if you require the DLC or not. It's hidden from the map, even when you buy the DLC. Uh, you're supposed to go here, it's a mission. You're supposed to locate the entrance to the chemical storage. Once inside, there's going to be an electric fence. You can easily jump over it. For this part, you need firecrackers because there's going to be a horde of zombies. And it's a lot faster if you just throw a bunch of firecrackers in one direction. If any of them bother you, kill them. And then you can go ahead and freely unlock the GRE box located here. Now, keep watching your mini-map. Once those firecrackers stop, the zombies are going to start coming at you. Go ahead and open this door. Don't bother you know, trying to defend yourself from the zombies. If they smack you while you're actually trying to open that door, the door will open up automatically. So it's actually easier that way. Now there's going to be a bunch of these froggers or those spitters. I forget what they're called. I just call them assholes, but they're all over the place and they're going to bug you. So first go to the hard lock chest located inside this container. It's easiest. Now, once you get this unlocked and your disappointment is washing over you because there's no king mod, you can get back to business destroying these assholes that are spitting on you. If they spit on you while you're trying to unlock a chest, it's going to interrupt that shit. So go ahead and make sure that they're disabled and then you're going to be free to open all these boxes and either be disappointed or happy but in this case sadly i was disappointed because i didn't get anything now i don't know what it is about gre boxes i seem to find more king bot or king mods anyways inside of the hardlock chest instead of gre boxes but there's also the stuffed turtle now, that's where I actually showed you where I found that king mod. It was here at the stuffed turtle. Um, this has less GRE boxes, and the other quarantine zone I just showed you had more boxes, and it was easier to deal with the zombies. But uh, I went ahead and showed you guys this anyways. It's most people's favorite. But... Um, for this, you can't just throw firecrackers, because when you throw the firecrackers in the water, they go out immediately. Instead, you need to either fight your way through, or you can camouflage, which is the easiest. Just camouflage yourself, and then you want to get to this door here. Now, this is a hard lock door, very easy to open, but you want to shut it behind you so you don't get attacked while you're trying to open these GRE boxes. The thing about GRE boxes also, if you leave the quarantine zone after looting these boxes, when you come back, they will be completely respawned. All the items will be restored. For example, I take that sack of shit and that shit knife. I leave the quarantine zone and come back to find that the box has been restocked. That's why GRE boxes are awesome. I just wish that they had more king mods. Because it seems like, you know, hardlock chests have 
way more king mods than the GRE boxes. But anyways, we're going to go to another quarantine zone located in Old Town. Starting from this safe zone, we're going to jump down here to the parking lot, I think it's called. Or it might be the parking garage, but it's a quarantine zone that is packed with zombies. I cleared it out just because I want to give you a tour. Now you're going to take a left around this bonfire and then you're going to go down this ramp. And then if you take a look to your left, you're going to see the first GRE box. Now we're going to keep heading down, turn right and look right. There's our second GRE box, go down. And then you're going to see our hardlock chest on the left. And then you're going to see another GRE box on the right. And then we're going to run into our final two GRE boxes. Now, while the zombies are roaming around this place, it is very dangerous. That's a volatile that I'm kicking the shit out of right there but I just got hit by a goon there are several goons down here and for some reason sometimes they can see right through your camouflage or your cloak potions so you need to be quick there are also bombers volatiles you know you name it all the shitty zombies are down here now I'm gonna check this hardlock chest last just see if we can get a king mod out of it or maybe even a gold weapon because that's what I used to use these places for but yeah it looks like we got ourselves a king mod so that's my favorite place to search for king mods anyways and that completes our tutorial on the slums now I want to show you guys a lot of places to farm for king mods in the countryside it seems like the countryside's hardlock chests produce many more king mods and by the way, one thing I didn't tell you in the beginning that I should have told you was that I am playing on Nightmare difficulty. Now, I don't know if it makes a difference what difficulty you're actually playing on, but I'm playing on the Nightmare difficulty and it, it, even Techland says that you get more rewards, you find more stuff on Nightmares. So I suggest you play on Nightmare. Um, I don't know if playing on normal makes a difference. Maybe try it. Try playing on normal. If you only like playing on normal, you know, go for it. Play on normal. Try to find king mods. And we'll see what happens from there. But I suggest playing on Nightmare anyways. That's just me, guys. That's it for this video. I hope this was helpful. I hope you found it informative. Sorry if I'm I'm talking a little different at least I got my TMJ thing going on so I can't you know make over exaggerated gestures and shit like that so hope you enjoyed it guys and as always I will see you in the next video oh. <laughs> 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 he pops up. <laughs> Why? He's stuck. Uh, you better hold. You better hold Y. <laughs> yeah, better hold that.